Welcome back, family. We got ourselves another good one. An early Thanksgiving meal. Okay? Early Thanksgiving meal for one of my godsons. He decided he wanted our ham and dressing and corn. Let's get started. On this dressing, we boiled scallions, onions, bell pepper, and celery to make the broth. We added two cans of Campbell chicken flavor soup. Okay? Brought all into the bowl and did add water. We already made our cornbread up, so what we did, we just put all it together and made this delicious meal. It's parsley, I'm sorry, it's parsley in it, poultry season, garlic powder, onion powder, some salt, and some pepper. Okay? And we put it together and we got this beautiful dressing. Okay? Let's go ahead to this ham. This is the Smith Fam ham that I told you about in another uh, video. Okay? It's a 10 pound ham. What we did is, I mean, make sure we got all that extra fat off and wash the ham. Okay? So make sure all that fat was gone. Okay? So we did now, we put brown sugar all over the ham. We also opened up the can of pineapples that we had. We make sure we put those pineapples and those mozzarella cherries together with a toothpick. And that's what you get this beautiful looking. And what we did was all the, and put a, I also poured a Coca Cola over it. So once you get all these juices and stuff, you always go back and make sure you put more juices all over the ham so you can stay juices, not dry. Okay, that's why this ham looks so juicy because that's what we did. And we got extra juice, as you see, into the pan. Okay. Last but certainly not least, this beautiful corn, homemade corn. It's whole corn of corn that's added with butter first. Okay. Make sure the butter was heated well. You add, you open your cans of corn. You drain all the water out that corn. Put that corn inside of a saucepan and add whatever you need to it. Your sugar, your salt, your pepper, and of course the butter. And cornstarch to it. Okay, you got to make a cornstarch roux with it, with cornstarch and water. Just don't put it in there because you will have lumps. Okay, and let all that simmer and cook. Make sure that corn is cooked uh, delicately and make sure it's tender. Okay, so we thank you all for continuing to look at our videos and watch these beautiful meals that we bring to you all. We hope you enjoy them. Okay, you see all that together? Beautiful. Let's take one look at all three. All right. We thank y'all ever so much. Stay blessed and happy Thanksgiving. Oh, I'm sorry. We might be back on here again with some other meals. But by the end, take care.